Hey y'all, what's up? It's Channing here. Today I'm coming to you guys serving all types of Jenny from the block. This will actually be my second time recording this video. Today I will be doing a tutorial on the two looks, the two Halloween hairstyles that I was actually wearing. This was one of them that I wore in the Dear Oh Dear Bambi tutorial and I will also be doing the teddy bear hair tutorial for you guys. But yeah, I'm recording it again because as I was editing, I kind of got kind of sleepy, you know, I'm just kind of like, yeah, this video is definitely Halloween because it is dead. So we're going to start this over and on a new note, some color as well, and <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoy this video right here. So let's get into it. So because I know everyone knows how to part their hair down the middle, as I did, and put their hair in two ponytails. I'm not going to show you guys that part like that's pointless but yeah you can use your pomade edge control or you can use this good old eco styling gel whatever you use to slick down those edges but make sure they are sleek and make sure that everything just looks really good if you know what I'm saying so we're going to start off I'm going to show you how to do the deer hairstyle that I was just wearing you will separate that ponytail into two sections and you will begin to twist. Hopefully you know how to two strand twist. If you don't, there are multiple videos on YouTube where you can learn. The twist does not have to be, you know, the neatest. We're going to take the end of that twist and take it through that area if you can tell what I'm doing and it's literally just like that y'all and at this point you will take a bobby pin and you will just pin it and that's pretty much it I'm going to tell you guys it looks different every time that I do it so my apologies <laughs> but uh that's pretty much all that I do I stick the end of that ponytail the end of that I stick it through the main area that's the bulkiest pretty much sometimes I push it through it all depends on how big it is how small it is and just how it looks I just feel for best spots in all honesty and this is it so we're going to do the same thing on this side separate it into two sections make sure it's good and tight and we're going to start to twist it And once we reach the end of that twist, we're going to take that and stick it through that area once again. You can stuff it if you want. You don't have to necessarily. Let me find my bobby pin that I did not pull out. Take a bobby pin and pin it. And you're probably wondering what the purpose in the bobby pin is. The whole purpose in me adding a bobby pin is so that my bun will stay facing the direction that I wanted it to face. Because whenever I twist my hair, I try to find the side that I like most. So it looks like that up close. It's not neat by a long shot. It's just really cute. So that's it. Now we're gonna move on to the teddy bear hairstyle. So for this style, I'm going to take a little bit of water because I've kind of messed up my ponytails a bit. <laughs> Got a little water around there. Okay. I'm going to take a bobby pin. I'm going to fold that just like this. And 
can do it just like that guys you see the way that looks and you can get the same exact results by you know whenever you're wrapping your ponytail tie around and once you get to the end you basically just leave the hair folded like that and then you just open it up right same exact thing we're just taking the ends and we're pinning them and you just open it up so we have two buns like that and that's really cute as well okay for those of you that were wondering about what I did whenever I styled my hair with the teddy bear I actually took some weave that I had and I combed foundation through it in order to change the color of the hair now you could simply just buy some blonde hair or you know if you have some hair that's dyed I pretty much just balled it into balled it up into some perfect balls with the foundation it was very very messy <laughs> if I had blonde hair I would have actually just used that but um I think it came out pretty well and it's very convincing so after I balled it up I added a bobby pin to the end of it so that I could simply just stick it in there just like that Just want to make sure that you have your bobby pins in there correctly otherwise the foundation rubbing up against your hair it will actually get on it and it can be very messy so that's it I told you guys it was so simple to get these looks if you guys have not checked out those videos please look at them I think you know they're very innovative I think the teddy bear was very unique that was something that I had not seen on Instagram I mean I'm always talking about Instagram <laughs> that was something I had not seen on YouTube exactly as I did it so yeah be sure to check that out if you have kids as well you know it's very easy face paint and hair that you could do for them for Halloween so thank you so much for watching this video I hope that you guys are also able to use this tutorial you know put it to good use if you would like to send your pictures to me I would love to see them you can send them um, on Instagram at Channing Lily or Facebook at Channing Lily. Thank you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.